In the next question, we are presented with a scale with three fruit on it. The pear is 128 grams and the plum is half the mass of the pear. We also find there is 394 on the scale. Our information in the top reflects that this is in grams. Now that we've taken note of all the information on this picture and the note at the bottom which says 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams, we can attempt this question. Convert the total mass of the fruit into kg. We've already taken note of the fact that 394 grams is the total amount of the fruit, so we need to convert this to kg. Taking the 394 grams, we divide it by 1000 and we get 0, 0,394 kg. Conversions is done in greater detail in my conversions video. These exam paper videos are to strengthen the grounding that you already have in Matslet. The pay is removed from the kitchen scale. Write down the new reading in grams shown on the kitchen scale. We know the total amount of all the fruit, 394. So we just have to subtract the 128, which is the pay, and we'll arrive at our answer. A simple calculation and we arrive at 266 grams. Show how the mass of 202 grams for the peach was calculated. When you're given this type of question, your calculations must be done in such a way where you arrive at the expected answer. In this case, it is 202. From our information gained, we know that the total amount of fruit is 394. We know that the pear is 128 and we know that the plum is half of the pear, which is 64. So our calculations would be for the peach, 394 the total, minus the 128, which is the pear, minus half of the pear, which is 128 divided by 2. And then our further calculations would be 394 minus 192, and we'd arrive to 202 grams. Determine the probability of randomly selecting a banana from the fruit placed on the kitchen scale. Clearly, we can see that there are no bananas on the kitchen scale. So it would be zero bananas from all the fruit that is there. So it's zero over three. We must be wary as to how the examiner questions us because if he asked for percentage probability, then we would give our answer as zero percent. In this case, they just ask the probability so you can give your answer in any of the three forms. Write down the simplified ratio of the total mass of the fruit to the total mass of the pear. There are two important things to note in this question. Firstly, our answer must be in ratio form. And secondly, it must be simplified. The total mass is 394 grams, as indicated on the scale, is to the pear is 128 from the information at the bottom. Both these numbers are even numbers, so they can be divided by 2, and this is how we arrive at 197 is to 64. Mrs. Chand, a teacher from Brackpan, received a monthly statement from GEMS as shown in the annexure. A. Mrs. Chan has one dependent, a son, Lee, on a medical aid. Remember, our annexures are additional resource materials which we will use. Which month is covered by the statement? And as you can see on the top right hand side, it gives you a date and tells you that it's the 12th month. State why the member had to pay 445 rand and 10 cents to the supplier. Looking at the document, you'll find a heading called member paid to supplier. And right at the bottom of that same column is the amount of 445, 10. In such cases, this occurs when the medical aid is exhausted. So the medical aid will pay at a certain amount and thereafter, whatever additional, the member will have to pay to the supplier. So the only logical answer would be that the overall limit has been exceeded. Write down the name of the general practitioner visited. This can be found towards the bottom rows of the table and you'd find it's Dr. Glamini. Calculate the price of the acute medication under the tariff code if the price increased by 6,3%. Looking at the transactions listed under the pharmacy heading, 
you'll find the first to be an acute medication. The amount is 736,90. This means that the 736,90 will increase by the 6,3%. Now there are two ways in which we could do this. Firstly, we could find 6,3% percent of the 736.90 and we'd get an amount as indicated in the first approach and then we'll take this amount and we'll add it on to the 736.90 and we'll arrive at our new price that's inclusive of the 6.3 percent. The alternate way is that we could take the 6.3 percent and add it to 100 percent. Remember we are adding 6.3 percent of that amount to the new amount so we take the 6,3, we add it to our 100% and we get 106,3% and all we do is multiply this by 736,90 and we would arrive at the new amount. Calculate the total amount of the tax claimable in the previous statement. If the tax claimable is the amount paid by the member directly to the supplier. Our objective here is to remove the amount paid directly to the supplier which we've made note of just now once this is done we arrive at the tax claimable amount in the previous statement so where do we find the tax claimable amount if you look at the document on the extreme left right at the bottom there is a note that says tax claimable to date the amount reflected there is 5326,66 taking this amount and removing the Money is paid to directly to the supplier. We arrive at 4881,56 as indicated. Define the term debit within the context of the statement. Looking towards the same area where we found the tax claimable amount, right at the bottom left, just above that you will find that there is the word debit next to money is paid to the supplier. And this is what they speak of. The note next to the word debit indicates to us exactly why that debit is there. It is the money that the member must pay to the supplier. Show how the total amount of 479.75 was calculated. Towards the bottom of the big table, you'll find the totals indicated and you'll find the 479.75. Staying with that column, you'll notice that there are amounts just above the 479 and you'd see that it's all the totals that are from the chronic medication. With the alternate method, we could have taken the amount claim, subtract the uh, acute amount of 736, subtract the monies paid directly to the supply, the 445, and we would have arrived at 479,75.